Hello and welcome to Overwatch. I've done a few videos of this, well just gameplay, no commentary. But I thought I'd uh, have a little bash with the old voice. Have a bash on the voice. Um, I'm thinking about playing Hanzo today. Uh, well, I had no idea who I was going to play at first, but Hanzo, uh, I played a few games with him. He's he's good. Yeah, I really like Hanzo. He's probably my favourite character, to be honest. I'm not very good with him, though. The only reason I like Hanzo is because of his um, the fact that he uses a bow, which I suppose is why most people pick him. But it's, I think he is. He could be borderline overpowered. In the right hands, he is crazy because you can triple peak. You can peak corners constantly. You can shoot. You could. Uh, you can shoot. Go hide behind the corner and pre-shoot. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Um, for some reason, we've got we had we've got three defense on honor. With honor, attacking. Which is not good. Now, I'm not the best at this game, so I suppose I go through what Hanzo is while I'm here. Um, his E is scatter shot, fires loads of little arrows around, and they bounce around for a short period. I, I'm not sure if they deal full amount of damage. I can't. I can't imagine they would. But I, it's not as effective, as uh, useful as you'd expect. Um, team's already complaining about. Well, one guy is already complaining about the lineup. But uh, his left shift is. I'm not going to waste it because it's about to uh, run out. But it's a sonic arrow which reveals enemies for a short time upon impact. So it's basically like reveals them. I'll show you. I should be able to see some more. There you go, and then you can see whoever you're shooting at through walls, so it's much easier to hit them. And with Hanzo, you want to get out of the way as quickly as possible, but these people played it pretty well. Oh, I got killed. I'm dead. Yeah, so it's not a good idea to walk around with your bow cocks because you can't run, but I uh, did forget that. Uh, I did just forget how to. Uh, cancel your shot, which is right click. But that Pudge, which is obviously a clone of Pudge, not a problem. I, I'm not really sure. He's, he's called Roadhog. I'm not too sure about if he's good or not yet. He seems not that good. Basically, if you play this game, you have to. Oh shit! Forget everything you know about Counter Strike or any other game. Aiming doesn't matter. But movement whilst aiming's not a thing. It's fucking cancel. It's all about aim and stuff and learning your character and using their abilities, right? So his passive is he can climb up walls, which is pretty cool. Most heroes have got a movement related ability. And then to to hold on, focus him. Shit off. Yeah, so she's a bit of a bitch. Farah. I I can't use her. She's it's the same as a soldier in TF2. I can never line up those shots well enough. And whenever I seem to use her damage, just doesn't seem to do anywhere near as much as I do. But yeah, Hanzo's uh, wall climbing. His ultimate is Dragon Strike, which I'll try and show you now. It's it can be it can be devastating. It can take out whole teams, but also can completely miss. It's very easy to dodge. But if you start it off the side of the map somewhere, and then that should be able to get her. No, see, so yeah, it's really easy to dodge. She just moved out of the way of it. Oh, and I just fucking... Oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. I gave up. I am back. Got you, bitch. Yeah, not not really hitting these shots. <laughs> oh, shit. 
see through the dragons. And yeah, the left shift is really good for scouting corners before you go around them. You can fire it and then move up. They shouldn't expect me to be here. So I might be able to sneak shot. Oh god. No See now they know scout the corner. This has got all quite a wide way AoE. Get a health pack and then maybe I, I can pre-shoot her. This is um the reason I can see him through the wall is our Widowmaker's ultimate. <laughs> killed her. I think. Yeah, definitely killed her. Killed Pharaoh <laughs> while she was blasting off. See that which is unseen. So as you can see his arrows, if you get headshots with them they are one shot kills, fully charged. On pretty much every hero. I've taken down a few tanks before. He's really effective against tanks. Oh you lucky. I'm dead. That was a really bad ultimate as well. I should have aimed it a bit more, but panic. Bit of panic. Um, this is our spawn now. We've because we've taken the objective of our spawns. We've reached a checkpoint basically, so now we've advanced in our spawn. That was an orgasmic sound. Oh shit! Also, your left shift does do damage when you attack when it hits someone. So, try to aim for an enemy. Whoa. Oh god, we don't make it. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, yeah, so try to aim for a hero with your left shift. It just means you'll hit. Try and get that Widowmaker. Oh, I completely missed that. What you can do is you can use the E to shoot over walls and stuff. Where's that with maker? Not there. Oh my god. Got one. Not her though. Okay, we're getting spawn count. Oh, that's his ultimate. Got him. Good. Okay, so I'm going to try and sneak around the outside. So yeah, Hanzo's base movement isn't the quickest, but he makes up for that for his wall climbing. So yeah, it does require some quick reactions to hit this, because it's not like Widowmaker, where you can just... You, just, you haven't got a scope or anything, so... It's all about pre scoping the corners. Uh, vision really helps when you've got a, a hero like Widowmaker on your team, you should be able to do well with Hanzo. So. And that's why his left shift's so good as well, because you can pre shot, once you learn the time in the speedy arrows, it's. Whoa. Whoa, what is going on? Around here. That was weird, I was glitching back. Move out. So yeah, the, the healer next to her isn't actually healing her, it looks like it, but she's just giving her a buff because of damage buff. And there's two there, so I'm going to make a swift retreat. Not very swift though. Oh, I can't climb up the bus. It's okay. I don't know who that is. I've never, I haven't really seen her before. And most of the time, it's just about randomly shooting, and most of the time, you'll hit someone because there's so many players. See through the dragon's eyes. But if you can aim your left shifts better than I can, this might steal. You can really mess up teams. Ten player kill streak is pretty good. I'm gonna ultimate that. There seems to be quite a few there. Uh, there was not. Oh, she's, she's got me. Damn it. Uh, I don't like that hero. She's so. It's hard to hit in the air. Press my frame strike when I look up. 
A minus fit bastard. What's going on? I'm moving and I'm, am I lagging? How do I tell? 13 final blows is pretty good. Second leaderboard. But yeah, this is one of his downsides, I suppose you could say. He's it's quite hard to. I don't know why I'm using the stairs, I could just climb up the wall. I keep forgetting he does have actually, actually have a wall climb. This is the snipers normally sit all around here. Oh, they're all on the point. She's reviving the guy I just killed. Oh. So we don't make it right in here, I think. Yep. Oh. Oh uh, no! Oh, we killed each other. You dirty bitch. So yeah, that's where Widowmaker outclasses Hanzo in close range combat. Unless you're obviously a really good shot, then Hanzo wins. But overall, I'm still not sure who's better. I think Hanzo wins because the bow seems to do more damage on a regular basis. No one Whereas, um, what's the call? Why am I glitching out? I must be lagging. This is weird. I keep getting like frozen. Oh, we won. Hopefully, I can get a defense now on Hanzo. This is nice uh, to play the games. It's a nice feature. It's <laughs> Peacemaker, he's a really. Uh, not Peacemaker, McCree's fun character as well. So, didn't even get an MVP, but they got the most. Um, I mean, a, one of these cards, I don't know what they're called. But they are. Um, I, I've lost track because I was looking at the chat. So yeah, 15 final blows. It's not my highest I've ever got. But yeah, I don't really know what to say. This game, you can definitely tell it's a Blizzard game. It's polished, beautiful. It's a really good looking game. Uh, it runs really well. Uh, tutorials lacking a little bit. Of just content stuff. I think this game could be really well with a um, a campaign of some sort. It seems like that sort of game. But I'm guessing if they wanted to put a campaign, they would have already done that. But it doesn't. It's not imperative. It's it's a really good. Uh, it's a solid game at the moment, no matter what.